I'll end on something because I'm going to get some questions on this, Darius. Mr. Bullard. Mr. Bullard. Does everyone know who Mr. Bullard is? Mr. Bullard as in the Mr. Bullard when the S&P 500, remember that it had that unfortunate and uncentrally planned drop of 150 handles from September the 28th to the mid-October low. Mr. Bullard came out and you know, pr you know, pr pranced on out to CNBC and said, well, we could do another QE. And then the market stopped going down. So today, today, Mr. Bullard, after telling everyone uh, that they should remove the word patient after he told them to, that they go, could go back to QE. I know it's getting hard to follow, Mr. Bullard. But today, he comes out after sucking people into thinking that the Fed could have removed the patient language, which was really bad for people. Again, if you shorted bonds on Mr. Bullard's view of that into the, into the testimony from Yellen, you got crushed. Mr. Bullard, you can't be crushing people. You're unelected, don't forget. So again, now he's saying that he's reiterating that they should remove the patient language. So what does he want? He wants quantitative easing down 10% from here in the S&P and up you know, 2% from here, he wants the patient language removed. This has reached the most hypocritic heights, I don't know of what you could reach, but this is the bubble that is central planning. When a dude named Bullard thinks that he can centrally plan and smooth market gravity.